so yesterday we were supposed to do Tupperware in addition to cookbook and I totally forgot. Um, there is nothing to declutter here. Look, I have way less than before. I keep those little, um, what you call them? They are um, kind of like, um, well, here you go. They are bowl, super tight. I use them for yogurts, <laughs> basically. Uh, the glass jars, that's uh, the name. These are all my plastics. Um, I don't have a lot, guys, I really pared down. And then I have some glass ones here. This one probably should go because I got a bad lid on it, but I need to replace it. I'm not gonna ditch it yet. And I have my platters here and then some more glass ones and then the temptations are in the back. So I'm not touching that. Um, sorry, I forgot, but if you have some extra Tupperware you want to get rid of, I pared down a lot over the year, but basically that's what I'm keeping. So let's move on. Hey guys, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Welcome back to another episode in the 30 Bags in 30 Day Declutter Challenge. Today is day number 20. Uh, it's actually Wednesday night. I am uh, filming ahead of time and I have to tell you sometimes you just don't want to do it <laughs> okay today's the day I had a really really rough day at work not rough you know in the regular sense but it was just very tiring today lots of driving so a lot of people um, hospitals and stuff I am just wiped out so I want to get this done today we are doing uh, dry goods so that's the pantry in my house it's right when you walk in from the back door so it's right there what i want to do today is go through um stuff that may be perished okay so that i have to ditch some stuff i may not want and it's still good but i just don't want it because i'm not going to use it so that it's going to go to the food pantry and then i also want to I figure out a way of um keeping the cereals in a more functional practical way because what I got right now for cereal for cereals is just um, a big mess because we constantly have to move stuff in order to get to the one we want so since I've got all of the Tupperware out of the tall long cabinet I was thinking maybe I would put them in there so that it can be all lined up and it's not as much of a mess so let's get started day number 20 So this is the bottom of the pantry. Uh, yeah, we use this so that uh, actually that was Edward's idea, which I thought was brilliant. This is to stop the beagle from opening the pantry. Yes, because it's happened. So we're gonna start uh, with this cabinet here. Hmm, I don't know if you can see very well. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, this is a regular shelf. You know what? I'm gonna put the cereals there. This is usually where I keep the cookies, and you can tell that. Um, uh, we have uh, cookie eaters here. Uh, this is ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that. Um, my goal today, yeah, I said we were not gonna reorganize, but guess what? We're gonna do that today. Uh, at the same time that we are decluttering because I just can't stand this pantry anymore. It's too much. All right, these are leftover candies uh, we bought from France. Okay, they two years old. Two years old, they can go. Okay, and then this little thing here. Got a bag of Cheetos. A bag of lays and then some planters and there's about that much left so guess what Scott's gonna have to finish this okay I'm done with this shelf remove the little um, sticky here let me clean this see if I can fit the cereals in there you know the pantry is semi-organized I keep all the cereals in here but you can see right it's yeah exactly it fell away in the back so the kids are kind of weird, and I don't know if your kids are like that too, um, but yes, it fits, so that's perfect. We're going to do that. Um, the problem with my kids is that there are days where they will eat cereals every morning, and there are days where they want nothing to do with it. And then you see how I have these here? i got to be very quiet. This is where we hide the donuts. Don't tell the kids, um, because if they find out where they are, they're gonna eat them all in one day. So we're gonna hide it in the back. Okay. Um, so there are days when they just eat all the cereals and then there are days when they want nothing to do with them. Uh, and then, you know, you go to the store and they see a particular cereal and they're like, oh, I wanna try this. So you buy that and then you end up stuck with cereals they don't eat. Um, but these are pretty much the ones 
that we will eat in the house, whether it's them or us. So they like the frosted flakes, they like the quave. Willie likes the marshmallow, um, whatever they are. And this box does not fit in there. Fit in there, there we go. Okay, so that's not too bad. No cereal fell down. I can push this a little bit more in the back here, that's good. And then I can put the grits right here. Okay, and that's some leftover. I can just empty that. <sighs> can you see me? Okay, so that's more functional for me. I, I got the cereals here. You don't have to move stuff to get them. And then the gooeys are hidden in the back. Okay, and then I have this one here now that's empty. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna put there later on. Okay, let's move down. Right, so now I have all of this stuff, right? So I gotta go through this. Um, this is supposed to be pasta and pasta sauce. The problem is that the baskets, right? So you buy baskets, you figured, hey, I'm gonna organize things. And then it turns out that they end up taking more room than anything else because they are compartmentalized, which is nice. However, um, sometimes they block the way. So I know that this has gotta go. Uh, we bought these, I can't remember where, and they were absolutely horrible. So I gotta let go of this. It's already open, so I can keep it. So we're ditching that. Okay, pasta. Um, I'll put the pasta and the sauces here instead. Because this is the stuff we use the most. And we need to have access to it. I don't like to bend. Okay. So we get that, and I have room. All right, and then um, rice. So let's get rid of this. Look at this mess. You see that? All right, I gotta clean all of this. Be right back. Okay, so that's much better. All right, so this is gonna be rice. This is very good, you guys. Um, I think, hmm, can't remember where I got that. I think I got that at Wegmans. It's uh, Lundberg Wild Blend. It's got a mix of black rice, yellow rice, uh, wild rice. Um, round rice, it was all grain, all of it. It's really good, we like it. So this is regular white rice, but look, I have another box here, and this one is not a um, fast cooking one, so I can mix them together. Oh, it looks a little bit different. This is not a, um, that's bizarre. Okay. Um, I don't know why it looks different, but this one is not a, uh, express cooking so it doesn't really matter okay so this is nice and tight so I got rice here okay this is empty but I'm gonna have to keep it this is where I put the lentils I like to buy that stuff in big bags um, this is another wild rice that's open and you know what? I'm gonna put it inside this bag. Because why have extra bags, right? Okay, what's this? This is another rice blend. How many do I have? This is crazy. That's gonna go in that bag too. This is still good, right? I said I was gonna look at the um, expiration date, but I bought those recently. We love wild rice in the family. What's the date on this? Used before... What kind of date is that? Used before 2016-0210. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's 2016-0210? February 10th, 2016? How could it be? I just bought it recently. Um, one in doubt, ditch it. Wow, that was weird. Uh, what do we have here? Risotto, okay. This gotta be still good. I did that a couple of weeks ago. Best use by... Zero two zero six thousand eleven. Okay, um, the risotto 
is expired. This is couscous. That's gotta be still good. Let it be still good, please, please, please. Where is the date? 2014. How long have I had this stuff? I can't keep that. Wow. Well, I don't know. It's dry good. It's never been open. You know what? Let me go on the internet and find out. Right. So I found a website and it says that basically any dry good, uh, open or not open, within um, a year of their expiration date to become rancid and even if you can't taste it it is still rancid and the rancid on dry goods affects your liver so lesson for me this cannot be here I was um, I've had it for not that long maybe a year and a half um, actually I bought it with mom when she was here because we were going to make couscous and we didn't get a chance to do it and I guess we bought one that was already expired I don't know it's possible so you always need to look at the dates even when you're at the supermarket don't expect them to do it for you uh, so this has got to go and it's really upsetting me because it's like brand new I never touched it Ugh. and that is why it's important to do your pantry Okay, so this is good. This is just rice and whatnot. Okay, here's another one of those baskets that I'm going to have to decide what I want to do with it. Okay, so to recap, uh, over here I have pasta, pasta sauce. My pantry is looking empty now, right? Uh, I just got the rice and the lentils that I have to refill over here. And then this, I have nothing on it, so uh, we'll figure out later on. And then over here I have uh, a bunch of nonsense. I have a basket here with potting mix, which really, that should be in the garage. Okay, and then at the bottom here, apparently we've been stashing um, light bulbs. <laughs> you know what, they don't hurt anybody, and they're accessible rather than having to go all the way down to the basement. Uh, let me wash this shelf here. Wow, I made a big dent in my uh, pantry already. Um, alright, so I'm going to clean that. I should really put liners, don't you think, on those shelves. Alright, let's move this. Alright, so over here I have more of those baskets. Um, let's see what we can find in there. Alright, so I have some of those um, pumpkin things. I give that to the dogs. It's 2018, but still good. Maybe I should put these here instead. This is, whoa, yeah, 18 or 13? No, that's 18. Okay, so that's still good. Uh, this is, I can't see. This is very good for dogs, uh, 2019. Okay, so that's still good. Alright, keep that here. Alright, I'm gonna do all the cans here. Nope. Yes. this is brand new okay I like these used by December 2018 okay so we can put that let me empty the basket this is probably bad okay so keep that these baskets in here make more sense because you can really pull stuff so this is empty now okay what else do we have here we have curries now we're using those uh, 2019 and 2019 okay okay more beans all right oh, i've had this you know what uh we bought this at aldi a while back and it was way too salty i did not like it so let me see the expiration date it's still good 2019 so this is going to food pantry this is 
an olive tapenade. Uh, it's good until April 2018. It's probably still good. I'm going to put it with the tomato sauce because you can do it. Then I scare with that. Ugh, more stuff my mom brought over. 2020, that's still good. These are better bad. 19, no, still good. Alright, and this is all the tuna. I gotta figure out a way I'm gonna put all this stuff, you know? Okay. More tuna. This is still good. These are fairly recent. Okay. All right. Now we got more of those. How many times have you seen these, right? I don't even know if they're still good. They have to be because that stuff lasts forever almost. Um. It's open. Look, it's got a little crack here. Yeah, okay. All right. Oh boy, I'm so embarrassed. Okay, this one's still good. How did that get open? That's weird. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the date. No, no. You see what happens? Do you see? Do you see what happens when you hide things inside baskets? You forget about them and they turn bad. How embarrassing is that? Okay, this was the um, British pudding. It's still good. So I'm going to put it here because Edward's going to want to eat it. And these are still good. So they're going to go in the cans right here. If I see them, I'll use them. Okay, I'm going to clean this and this is going to be for the cookies because the kids are going to constantly open this and pull out cookies and at least they're a little bit more contained than all over the place, right? Right, so these are still good. Um, so I'm going to put them back in here and then I'll put the cookies in there but we're out of cookies so we're going to have to go to the supermarket. So now i got this with just this in here and then this is empty as well. I really emptied out my pantry you guys. Um, hmm, don't know what to do about that. Okay, um, let's go above. So you see, this is what happens. You buy stuff, you put it in basket because you want everything to look pretty from the outside. And then you forget they even existed. So here we have um, a bunch of stuff. I don't know if you can see. Let's start with the top, 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 top. Okay. All right. So these, I tell you what I'm gonna do. A friend of mine made those, and she, um, yeah, they're from 2007. They're from 2017, and um, she made those and gave them to us for Christmas because uh, we had her over for uh, um, a dinner and I tell you what I'm going to pull them out tonight and we're gonna have that for dessert because I'm tired of looking at it and this is another example of what I was telling you um, I can't remember because I'm filming this ahead uh, it might have been yesterday's video right today is Wednesday the video I posted Thursday uh, Hold on. So today's Wednesday. The video I filmed for Thursday was Tuesday. And what was it? Oh yeah, the soap. You remember how I said that I had the soap and I didn't want to use it because it was just pretty and I liked it too much? It's the same thing with this. I love peach in syrup and she made this and it's in my pantry and I really love peach in syrup. And so do the kids. So why am I not opening it? Like, what am I keeping it for a special occasion? Uh, she gave it to us seven months ago. Um, so, guess what? I'm opening it tonight. We're having peach for dessert. And it's just ridiculous, right? You get stuff, you want to use it. Uh, okay, so these... Are they still good? There is no expiration date. This should be good. It's sealed. It doesn't say. Okay, so this one doesn't say if they're still good or not, but tell you what, I'm going to put them with the tomato sauces. I'm more likely to use them. Okay, over here we have strawberry rhubarb. Um, that's never been open. I bought it at a farm years ago, and uh, another one, I love that stuff. 
and I'm not opening it because I'm afraid um, I don't know what I'm afraid of uh, it doesn't say how long I can keep it it's probably still good because it's in a jar okay and then I have this little one we brought back from France and I'm not using it because it's it's ridiculous you can buy those here there's no reason why I'm not using this okay oh. all right this um, this is still good. This is this jalapeno, raspberry jalapeno mustard sauce. That's very good. All right, so, but you know what? In order for me to use it, it's got to be with the spices. If I leave it up there, I'll never use it. Uh, Cornstarch. That doesn't go bad, does it? Best Buy, August 6, 2016. This is ridiculous. All right, let's go on the internet. How long can you keep open cornstarch? Cornstarch should be kept covered in a cool, dark place away from moisture. Best way to store it. Okay, as long as it remains dry, it will remain safe to use since the shelf life of cornstarch is really indefinite. Okay, we're keeping it. Okay, uh, roasted garlic mustard. Um, yeah. But again, that should be with the spices. Okay. Uh, uh, chunky apple sauce that should be used to um, that can stay here though okay we're gonna do this I gotta use this I'm so ridiculous why am I not opening that okay uh, this is corn muffin mix you can use it for cornbread too they're pretty much brand new and the expiration date is Okay, November 2018, so that's still good. I'm going to put it with the dry goods on the other side here. Alright, so these are cake mix that we actually just bought. Oh, they don't fit. Oh, they don't fit. Alright, so we're going to put them lying down like this. Alright, let me go through this. Semolina flour. Does this, semolina flour, does this go bad? No, 2019, so that's still good. Okay, none of this stuff here goes bad. Uh, this is a new one of raisins. 2018, still good. Okay, this is all my baking stuff. Oh, I hope this is not bad. 2019, okay, still good. So, but I'm going to do this more likely to use it okay so that can stay all right big this quick when does this expire 2019 so that's still good this however has been open and i've seen better days so that can go all right, and over there, I get brown sugar. That doesn't really go bad. Cornmeal stays here with the corn mix. And then what's this? Uh, this is the Truvia. I put this here. White sugar, uh, white flour, and there we go. White flour and semolina. Okay, that's it. All right, so the pantry is done. All right, so I'm done. Um, you know, when I poured the f uh, flour and the sugar in these two, I should have marked the date. I really should have. Uh, I have no idea how old it is, but I, s I still use it, so mm, we'll see. Uh, brown sugar and stuff. Okay, so I have some things here. See how deep this uh, pantry is? And there's a lot of stuff I can put in there. Uh, and that's the problem with having a very deep pantry. I would rather have a shallow but very long one. So that way everything is visible and nothing goes bad and you remember what you have. So now I have this empty. This is where I put all the crackers, but obviously I'll do some shopping. Uh, tomorrow I'll get some more cookies. And I just found something all the way in the back over there. I don't know, Willie. Let's find out. Oh, that's where it went. It was another one of those bags of spicy um, chips from India. Edward liked those, so we're gonna put that in here. Okay, so cookies are gonna go in there. This is all the cereals, right? 
Uh, here I have those uh, noodle things that Edward really likes. And then everything that's kind of pasta related is here. And then here I'm keeping all of the rice and the lentils. This mustard here needs to go in the spices. And then over here, I'm keeping all the cans, that way they're more visible, right? And then this one here is pretty much empty, and over here I have vegetable oil, like a big, big gallon thing of vegetable oil. So that's it with the pantry. Uh, it's not too bad. I'm very surprised that I still found stuff to get rid of that was really, really expired. I had no idea, because every time, you know, every month I was going in there and rearranging things, but I wasn't really thinking about looking at expiration dates. So, yeah, spend some time in your pantry and see what you have and whether or not it's still good now because I have these showing um, I'm actually going to be more likely to use them than if they were hiding inside the basket you see what I mean be careful with baskets is what I'm trying to say things disappear behind basket or inside baskets we forget about them so that's it for the pantry so this I am eating tonight um, we're gonna serve that and little dishes or bowls. Um, I think I have some ice cream in the freezer. But um, lesson learned, okay? Uh, baskets, they look really cute when you open your pantry. It makes you feel satisfied. Like, oh, look, I'm so organized. I get everything in a little basket. But guess what? You forget what's in there. Um, so now I got a full bag of food that's perished. I got one can that I can bring to the pantry. Actually, I'm going to bring it to work in our pantry. We have a pantry at work where, you know, when we have uh, patients who need, you know, help, assistance with shopping or um, food, we just, you know, we go there, we grab a couple of things and we just bring them to them. So we always have a full pantry in the, uh, at the office. So I'm going to bring that to the office. And I'm stuck with these. Look at these. These were an investment, okay? I have two, three, four of those baskets. Um, that's just crazy. Uh, that, that really is crazy. So I think I'm going to wash them. And I have unassorted baskets on the shelves in the bathroom upstairs, my bathroom. So I'm going to put Scott's and my stuff in those baskets. And at least I have baskets that are matching rather than having, I think he's got like a white plastic one and I have a brown um, version of this so I'm gonna reuse the baskets but it's crazy right we we try to organize and really I'm not saying it's fake organizing because the stuff was kind of organized um, but it's not necessarily improving your day-to-day um, -day life to have all those baskets so I need you to go in your pantry and rethink how you put your stuff in there and if you have all those baskets you'll be surprised you may find things that have been perished for a long time or expired for a long time but you wouldn't know because they're neatly tucked inside a little cute basket and when you look at your basket you're all satisfied it's like oh look all my red top spices are in there and then half of them are bad okay so let's do that let's go in the pantry today um i have a dog here sorry um let's do that let's go in the pantry today and go through everything if it's perished or expired ditch it if it's still good but you know you don't like it or are not going to use it um donate it bring it to the food pantry or your church you know there's always donation centers for food and um reassess what you use and don't use and this is actually one of the reasons why we try to not go to Costco, BJ's, uh, Sam's Club, and all of those places. I mean, we go once in a while, but we rarely buy food in bulk unless it's food that I know we're actually going to use. Like, I would buy cookies in bulk. I would buy, um, you know, like the packaged ones that have a good shelf life. Uh, I would definitely buy toilet paper in bulk. Um, you know, household items, but food items, uh, I would buy meats because they can go in the freezer. I may buy um, stuff like butter. Again, I put that in the freezer, but I wouldn't buy cans, flour, all of the rice, all of those things. I would not buy them in bulk because I know I don't use them enough to finish up the whole thing and then you end up 
ditching and then you end up getting rid of it so that was a big waste um for today but i'm looking forward to my peaches tonight <laughs> i really am i'm making some changes i'm telling you i was so happy to just look at this it made me feel very good like homestead like right to have a a jar of peaches but they're meant to be eaten not looked at so i'm going to eat them tonight that's my story and i'm sticking to it so uh short video again um i'm very tired you guys <laughs> it's uh it's 7 p.m. Um, I'm wiped out. I need to do this and then tomorrow on Thursday I got to um, wake up really, really, really early. <laughs> Four o'clock in the morning uh, to take care of some stuff at work. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be the only one on the road, which is great because I have wide lanes now, right? Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Give me a big thumbs up if you still like those videos. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner. Um, don't forget to check out the playlist down below with all of the other participants and who are doing the 30 bags in 30 day declutter challenge and Debbie I know you're watching this I've had a lot of requests for a website as to where do people go to purchase your cards so I'm hoping this is going to open a brand new layer of business for you so please give me your website and um, I will post it on the Facebook page for Migrate Challenge, okay? Uh, check it out, it's somewhere at the end in the um, info box, right? You'll see there's a Facebook page for Migrate Challenge. I'll just put in Migrate Challenge in the search. Like my Facebook page and then you get to um, find out where you can find Debbie's cards and other crafts and she's in the UK so if you are in the UK your shipping is going to be very very low okay I bid you goodbye I will see you tomorrow tomorrow we are uh hold on what am I filming tomorrow I'm filming Saturday's video what's Saturday um the coat closet yeah I think I'm going to be ruthless in there as well so it's the entry hallway closet you know where we stash all the shoes and the bags and the mittens and the scarves and the hat and the umbrellas and uh, purses and all this stuff so we're gonna go through that um, tomorrow okay thumbs up subscribe I'll talk to you later thanks for watching you guys bye